Good morning, this is Casey Olson with the Utah Climate Center. If you're like me and woke up to the snow with a tear on your face, then wipe those frozen tears away because we'll have a brief glimpse of spring this weekend. Snowpack percentages of normal remain impressive for this time of the year, and we still have a few more weeks of buildup. One month climate outlooks also favor wet and cool conditions to continue for our region. The upper level trough responsible for the past few days of cold and wet conditions will begin to be replaced by a building high pressure ridge. This will act to clear out our weather. However, winds remain northerly as we sit on the back end of the trough, keeping our air temperatures lower Friday. That along with Thursday night's cold front and decreasing cloud cover will reinforce the cold such that our lows might not break above the teens in northern Utah. As the solar energy received at the surface begins to increase each day, so does our progress towards looking like spring. Saturday and Sunday look to be quite nice with temperatures rising and low chances of precip. Cloud cover should begin to be fill back in Sunday night along with precip chances rising Monday. This will likely come in the form of valley rain and mountain snow, but the moisture content asso associated with this first feature doesn't look that impressive. We'll hopefully see the return of spring-like conditions at the latter end of the next week. Temperatures in the far northern valleys remain very chilly in the 30s Friday before creeping back up to the seasonal normal uh, come Sunday and Saturday. Salt Lake and the Central Valleys are almost identical to the north this time, sit around, sitting around the upper 30s before hitting the upper 40s as the weekend progresses. I watch southern Utah with envious eyes as they linger in the 60s. With the Utah Climate Center, I'm Casey Olson.